Right. So, uh, new ZZZ trailer, yeah? I'm gonna be honest with you, I was not expecting a new one so soon. Uh, I'm a bit late on this one, it's what, been two days? Not too bad, right? That's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, we just got the, what, the, the overall teaser trailer back, like, less than a month ago. And as far as I know, this game's not coming out for a while, right? Like, I, I'm ex I, was, I was expecting at least, like, two, one or two more years before this thing releases, because we just got Star Rail this year. But if we're getting character teasers this quickly, I think it might be coming out sooner. Who knows? I sure don't. Um, because I think even for Star Rail, while they did release some trailers pretty far in advance, I don't think they actually gave us, like, specific character trailers that quickly. That was only once the game was, like, given a proper release date. Who knows? Maybe Mahalia's stepping it up. I don't. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, the Billy character teaser, Robo Rodeo. Let's go. We only took what you took. You really don't need to treat it. Oh well, okay. So we got English voice acting, which you see those little thugs. I think we got a so bit of English voices in the Watch last out. trailer as well, but it was only for like I think our main characters. People on the streets often say the kind of life we live comes with a price. Seems like today, it's my turn. Oh, I really like the way they've done his voice. Now buckle up, because the story of my life is a real roller coaster. Where do I even begin? I'm Billy. I'm a battle android, although a more accurate description would be intelligent tactical unit with firepower-based area suppression capabilities. I was made using lost technology. Okay, so immediately my my assumption here is that he's either maybe a little bit unhinged or uh something's gone wrong in his head. I'm getting I'm getting like big like Deadpool vibes off this guy. According to my memory bank, I used to live in New Eridu's outer ring. Serving a man with lofty Billy, Billy the Kid, that makes sense. Like, if, if you're invoking cowboy imagery, that's my immediate Billy, thought, right? It gave me a mission. I'm not bragging. I was infamous back then. Some thugs would cower in fear upon hearing my name. <laughs> Thinking back, oh, look at her go. That's Anby. She's my co worker, too. Yeah, she knows how to swing a sword. Huh? What, wait! The bullets and then we got the mascots her? here, yeah. I haven't finished my story yet! Um, I was supposed to stick to the outer ring, but some things went down and my first home fell apart, so I ended up an aimless combat weapon once again. I had a little talk with the people who were following my boss, and in the end they decided to let me go. Then, wow! Hey, Bullet! Could you slow down a sec? I'm wrapping up here! Where was I? Uh, uh oh, freedom! Yeah, so I had a taste of freedom, went on a journey alone. With two guns from a friend, I made new air to my fresh home. Amidst the chaos and strife, people needed someone who cares. Then, by a weird twist of fate, I hooked up with the cunning hairs. I had no idea the ending would be so fast-paced, but no time for regrets now. Duh, if it helps me get out of this alive, I swear not to watch Starlight Night again! Oh, so close! What? I didn't know you're such lousy shots! <laughs> I take my promise back. I can't wait to watch Starlight Night! Okay, that's really interesting. Okay, I have some things to say. Let's see here. Anything else? So first of all, Billy's design, right? Uh, I have seen this before, right? Like, I, I've seen the, the gameplay teasers of him, and I have seen this character before. Um, immediately... You, you notice the red jacket, right? And the red jacket is kind of iconic, right? Because a lot of characters have, like, this bright fucking red jacket. You know, you got, like, um... Let me think here. You got Dante. You got Akira. You've got, um... Vash, which I'm, I'm thinking Vash is probably... From, from Trigun is probably the character he is most heavily based on. However, I also think that like like his overall design not just the jacket makes me think of um i don't know if any of you have played blaze blue right but he he reminds me of um hakuman crossed with ragna a bit because you got the hair and the jacket from ragna and then like the whole faceless robot aesthetic from hakuman um i can definitely see 
something's being pulled from there. And then uh, with his guns, Alucard, that's what I'm thinking of. But where he pulls out his guns here makes me think of Alucard from, from Helsing, because look at these things. Oh, Vincent as well, Valentine from Final Fantasy VII. There's, I feel like this character is just an uh, homage, right, that's how you say it, to just a whole bunch of the whole gun-wielding uh, outlaw sort of characters, which fits him, because I'm... Pretty sure Billy is a reference to Billy the Kid. In fact, I think when it was panning across his head, it actually says Billy the Kid on his... Yeah, yeah, right there on his headphones, it actually says Billy the Kid. So yeah, just just from the... Like, the, the references in just his design alone are pretty, pretty striking, I think. Got the currency here. Is there anything... To, like, I wonder if they peppered, like, stuff into the background. Frame by frame it a bit. So there was a um oh not that poster here. Does it say anything? There's some Chinese up here that I can't read. That's also Chinese. I think this is in English. The infer. I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, one thing, his voice, his voice. The sound design fits is so cool, right? Because it's clearly artifice, right? It's mechanical, but it isn't overwhelmingly so. Um, like the words you can, and then what he's saying, you can actually hear very clearly. Um, but there's definitely that undertone of like a mechanical quality. I just think they did a really good job on his voice. It sounds so cool to listen to. Let's see what else. And you got this character here. I don't know if she was in the previous trailer. I remember there was a girl with like a shark tail. I don't think that was her though because that one had black hair. So this part, this is probably a different character. I I don't know. I mean, I assume it's a different character. And nothing terribly interesting there. And you got the whole cowboy scene here, which, I mean, again, Billy the Kid. And I have seen this girl before. Um, She was in the like, previous trailers. And I guess she's his boss, yeah. Oh, he's got a wanted poster. Anything on this? Oh, it doesn't like show you the whole thing. Um, yeah. Anything else? Anything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his character design is really neat. Um, and his sound design as well. Oh, this thing's been okay this entire time, hasn't it? Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. This was a really cool trailer. Like, even if it's, it was pretty simple, right? It was just like a panning shot of a picture, essentially. But still, um, with the narration and everything, it gives us a bit of insight. I think it's really neat. Um, ZZZ looks fun. Uh, I, I like their whole urban aesthetic. Um, though, from what I've seen of gameplay, it seems kind of like the, um, uh, your typical hack and slasher. Which I'm sure it's Mahoyo, right? I'm sure they'll probably figure out a way to spice it up. I've heard it's something like a roguelike, um, kind of like uh, what am I thinking of? It, I've heard the gameplay is like a roguelike, where you just go through levels and pray you don't fucking die. Um, which I mean that's fine. I mean, it's not my cup of tea exactly. I'll definitely give the game a go when it comes out, just because you know why not, right? Says the guy who is uh, drowning in gotcha, but you know, hey, might as well. Mahoyu is going to take all my goddamn money. It's going to be awful. It's going to be great. But yeah, um, yeah, that's Billy's trailer. Oh, I like how he has like little spurs on his guns too. That's kind of neat. Uh, that's just like a nice little detail. Do his guns actually say something? 
I don't think so. I thought it just looks like a design. Yeah. I can't wait to watch Star Starlight Night. Right. I'm assuming this is a TV show. I wonder if it's one of those cases where the character in the TV show eventually becomes playable. Like, they, they join our party, because I know that's happened in some games. Um, this guy, uh, primarily one of them. Um, just a little note. But yeah, that was Billy's trailer. I think it was quite fun. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. See ya.